Good morning, viewers. It's a new day. Welcome to today's devotion with the Daily Fountain, the devotional guide of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion. Invite your family and friends. Get your Bible and your Daily Fountain manual while our devotional leader takes us on today's devotion. In the morning, early in the morning, in the morning, I will rise and praise the Lord. In the morning, oh, in the morning, early in the morning, in the morning, I will rise and praise the Lord. In the morning, oh, in the morning, early in the morning. In the morning, I will rise and praise the Lord. Good day to you, viewers at home. I welcome you to the feet of Master Jesus. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Today, Friday, 22nd March 2024. The topic for our consideration is Resolve to be at Jesus' feet. Resolve to be at Jesus' feet. The passage for reading is Gospel according to St. John. Chapter 11, verses 30 to 44. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, your feet is a place of inspiration. Your feet is a place of meditation. Your feet is a place of worship. As we search through your word today, Henceforth, give us the grace to always be at your feet through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Gospel according to John, chapter 11, verses 30 to 44. I read. Now Jesus was not yet come into the town, but was in that place where Martha met him. The Jew then which were with her in the house and comforted her. When they saw Mary, that she rose up hastily, and went out, followed her, saying, She went unto the grave to weep there. Then when Mary was come where Jesus was, and saw him, she fell down at his feet, saying unto him, Lord, if thou had been here, my brother had not died. When Jesus therefore saw her weeping, and the Jews also weeping, which came with her, he groaned in the spirit and was troubled and said, Where have ye laid him? They said unto him, Lord, come and see. Jesus wept. Then said the Jews, Behold how he loved him. And some of them said, Could not this man, which opened the eyes of the blind, have caused that even this man should not have died. Jesus therefore again groaned 
in himself cometh to the grave. It was a cave, and a stone lay upon it. Jesus said, Take ye away the stone. Martha, the sister of him that was dead, said unto him, Lord, by this time he stinketh, for he had been dead for this. Jesus said unto her, Said I not unto thee that if thou wouldest believe, thou shouldest see the glory of God. Then they took away the stone from the place where the dead was laid. And Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank thee that thou hast heard me. And I knew that thou hearest me always. But because of the people which stand by high, said it, that they may believe that thou hast sent me. And when he thus had spoken, he cried with a loud voice, Lazarus, comfort. And he that was dead came forth, bound hand and foot with grave clothes, and his face was bound with Bound about with a napkin, Jesus said unto him, Loose him and let him go. This is the word of God. Thanks be to God. The explanation on the passage read It was discovered that Jesus Christ have nearly the same reaction which the mourner had about the death of Lazarus. The mourners wept, and Jesus Christ wept bitterly as well. It means Jesus Christ is not happy with whatever painful situation you find yourself. That was why he was groaning in the spirit about the death of their, his dear friend, Lazarus. It is an indication to tell us that Jesus Christ is still groaning about the painful situation you are passing through today as well. Beloved in the Lord, what does it mean to be at the feet of Jesus? To be at the feet of Jesus is an act of worship and giving him the same honor reserved for God. It is a recognition of the fact that the person understands who Jesus is as a very man and a very God. The question is, do you also recognize who Jesus is like Mary of Bethany? Because if you don't know who Jesus is, it may be very difficult to resolve in your heart to be at his feet. Also, to be at the feet of Jesus is to be alone with him in his presence, reading and meditating in his word 
speaking to him in prayers. Remember, at the cool of the day, Jesus, God himself, will come down to the garden of Eden as Adam will be at his feet fellowshipping and commune with God. The Bible says, and out of the ground, the Lord God formed every beast of the field, every fowl of the hare, and brought them unto Adam to see what he would call them. And whatsoever Adam called every living creature, that was the name thereof. According to the book Genesis, chapter 2, verse 19. It is a beautiful experience to be at the feet of God, to be at the feet of Jesus Christ. The importance of sitting at Jesus' feet. It allows us to hear from God directly. As Mary was at the feet of Jesus Christ, he was hearing directly from Jesus Christ. According to the Gospel of Luke, chapter 10, verses 34 to 39. Also, Adam, in the Garden of Eden, he was hearing direct instruction from God in his presence. According to the book Genesis, chapter 2, verses 15 to 19. Do you know that it is at the feet of Jesus Christ that you can get the far information and breakthrough from your mysterious challenges? Mary got solution to her dead brother, Lazarus, who was lifeless for four days at the feet of Jesus Christ. The Bible says, Then, when Mary was come where Jesus was and saw him, she fell down at his feet, saying unto him, Lord, if thou had been here, my brother had not died. When Jesus therefore saw her weeping, and the Jews also weeping which came with her, he groaned in the spirit and was troubled and said, Where have ye led him? According to the Gospel of John, chapter 11, verses 32 to 34. As we resolve to come to the feet of Jesus, light is coming to your darkness. Joy is coming to replace your sorrow. Comfort is coming to replace your difficulties and pains in the name of Jesus Christ. What are the steps to be taken that can be of great assistance to come to the feet of Jesus? Number one, surrender your life as a living sacrifice unto him. Mary has surrendered her totality to Jesus Christ. That was why it was very easy for her to separate herself from all form of distractions such as sorrow, pains, loss of her beloved brother Lazarus and many others. So, surrender your totality to God as you come to Jesus' feet 
where supernatural power flows to solve mysterious predicaments. Number two, do not magnify your challenges. Mary, the sister of Lazarus, left all her sorrow behind her. She did not magnify them. Instead, she went to the feet of Jesus Christ to worship him, to magnify him, instead of magnifying our troubles. Immediately, impossibilities gives way to possibility. Restoration of life manifested in the life of a lifeless Lazarus. It is my prayer that impossibility will give way to possibility in your life as you resolve in your heart to come to the feet of Jesus Christ. Number three, create a regular time of study and meditation in God's word. Creating a regular time to study and meditate in the word of God we open your understanding to know more about Jesus and the power of his resurrection as well as what he can do in your life. This we assist you like Mary of Bethany to worship God and to come to his feet at all times since that is where your breakthrough lies. Joshua chapter 1 verse 8. Where do we need to come to the feet of Jesus? Number one, we need to come to the feet of Jesus because that is the place where impossibilities becomes possible. Mary went to the feet of Jesus Christ, our lifeless brother Lazarus, received life. According to the Gospel of John, chapter 11, verse 32 to 34, and verse 43 to 44. Number two, we need to come to Jesus' feet. Because it is a place of inquiry as well as commanding divine action. Mary went to the feet of Jesus Christ, and the Bible says in Gospel, according to John chapter 11, verse 34, Where have ye laid him? Inquiry about the sorrow. In the heart of Mary, there was a command to remove the obstacle that was keeping the man, Lazarus, in the grave. In the first 39 of the same chapter, every obstacle preventing our breakthrough is hereby removed in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Then the fine authority entered the life of lifeless Lazarus and he became a living soul. Beloved in the Lord, the feet of Jesus Christ is a place of hope for the hopeless, joy to the sorrowful, deliverance to the captive, strength to the wearied soul. So, resolved in your heart today to come to the feet of Jesus Christ and your dead Lazarus will live again. Let us pray. Pray to God 
to help you to stay at Jesus' feet unto your sadness and pain with unto joy. Pray unto God. Have it in your mind that your sadness will turn to joy. Your agony is living your life now and re relief is re replacing it. Have it in your mind that God answers prayer. He will turn your life around in his, at his feet. Only what you just need is to have trust in him with purity of heart. The Bible says, ask and it shall be given you. Seek and yes, I find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. Try to bring your prayers to a close. In Jesus Christ's name, we have prayed. Everlasting God, King of glory, we appreciate you because we know your feet is a place of inspiration. Your feet is a place of inquiry. Your feet is a place of commanding divine action. Your feet is a place where impossibilities becomes possible. Our Lord, as we have prayed unto you, O God, Father, answer our prayer speedily so that we will be able to resolve in our mind as many as possible that has not experienced the power at your feet. So that they will be able to come at your feet and receive their blessing. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Forever we shall continue to glorify you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. God bless you. We thank you for fellowshipping with us today. We invite you to join us tomorrow morning, same time, same station, for another special edition of The Daily Fountain. If you are led to sponsor or support this program, please contact the numbers and email all showing on your screen. Also, Subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash ACNNTV. Visit our website www.acnntv.com.